In less than a month, the healthcare.gov insurance marketplace will reopen, and millions are expected to enroll for health insurance under the Affordable Care Act. SNN's Melissa Warren joins us now with, uh, from the newsroom with a preview of what experts are anticipating for the second season of enrollment. Melissa. Well, we all remember the first time, plenty of bumps in the road, and no one remembers them more than local navigator Becky Litweiler. At the Comprehensive Care Center in Sarasota, she helps people sign up last year, and she says she's ready for round two. Last year, the process began pretty poorly. <laughs> The website did not work well. It froze up. Um, so even though we'd been trained and we knew we had a certain amount of stuff, educational material and um, topics to talk to people about, when we got right down to signing them up, that became difficult. Litweiler hopes this year will be different, and although they haven't been released, when it comes to plans, she says you can expect positive changes. Um, there probably will be increases from last year, but there'll probably also be increases in tax credits to keep the coverage affordable. So people need to just remain calm if they're getting letters from their insurance that they signed up for last year, you know, and just come back in. Uh, some coverages may be being dropped by the insurance company, but there'll be other plans put out there. Unlike last year, the enrollment period is three months rather than six, and penalties are expected to climb if the deadline is missed. What it tries to do is encourage people to think, hmm, maybe I should be thinking about health insurance. People think on a regular basis about car insurance. They know they have to have that. And so um, not everybody buys it and there's a penalty if they get caught without it. But she says one of the biggest hurdles remaining isn't technical in nature, but a result of Florida not expanding its Medicaid coverage. Healthy men and women without children um, are in a gap. According to the Herald Tribune, 850,000 Floridians fall in that coverage gap, but Litweiler encourages people to go ahead and check healthcare.gov or consult a navigator to see what kind of rates and subsidies you may qualify for. So how can people go about finding someone to help them navigate that enrollment process? Well, you can go to the Sarasota County Health Department or those who are interested in setting up an appointment at the Comprehensive Care Center can go ahead and call them at 941 366 1034 and schedule a time after November 15th to sit down with a navigator because once again that deadline is February 15th. All right, thanks Melissa.